Broa 7 kW to 20 kW series or dual MPPT. Three phase grid type solar inverters. In this video, we will have a brief introduction of inverter installation, commissioning, and basic troubleshooting. Tools we need to prepare Electric driller, hammer, pliers, cross screwdriver, flat screwdriver, multimeter, etc. Unpacking and checking. Unpack the packing. Take out the accessories and the inverter. According to the accessories listed on the manual, check whether there is any missing. Follow the installation manual to drill holes. Hang inverter to the wall. Do not forget to screw the safety screws firmly. It is required to install the inverter under a shoulder, avoiding direct sunlight and rain. Please choose eligible cables for wiring. On the user manual, there is a table of cable requirement. It had listed the specification of cables required. Check the PV array polarity with a multimeter. Then connect the PV array terminal to inverter PV input terminal. For PV connector assembly, please refer to SP2000 installation video. The AC connection is a screw connector with five pins. Line 1, Line 2, Line 3, Neutral and Protection Earth. Put the wire terminal to the lid. Use gripping pliers to tighten it. Put the cable to the AC protection cover and then screw the five standard wires into the relevant terminals. It is suggested to earth an inverter frame via the earthing pole located in bottom of inverter. There is an RS-232 connector and two RS-485 sockets on the bottom of inverter. We suggest that solar system be monitored by Growatt Wi-Fi module or Shine Web Box. Remove the RX-232 cover from inverter. Switch the DIP switch 1 to on status and then put the Wi-Fi module to the RS-232 port. The monitoring system allow customers to check data on mobile, panel computer, laptop, wherever have internet access. Moreover, it is also able to adjust inverter parameters and even upgrade inverter firmware remotely. Use a multimeter to check the PV input voltage and AC voltage on inverter terminal. Make sure they are correct, then switch on the inverter DC switch to start up commissioning. The inverter LCD display was showing. Select the country. Knock to inverter sound control panel to shift the countries and a quick double knock to confirm it. Please note, you cannot get back to select the country interface once country been selected. For some regions, Rowat had already preset it, so customers may not see it. The inverter LCD display is controlled by NOC. To avoid random operation, the initial status is LOCK, not four times to unlock it. For other NOC operations, please refer to the manual. Warning is a general running alarm. It would not affect the inverter's power production. The warning message on the LCD display is only remind you to pay attention to it. The most common warning message is a fan fault. As a tear and a wear apart, fan cleaning and replacing may be required after long time operation. For outdoor installations, we suggest cleaning for fans semi-yearly. 
Switch off the inverter PV switch, AC switch. Vary for different model. Unscrew the inverter handle and protective part firstly. Unscrew the fan cover screws. Disconnect the fan cables. Take off fans. Use wet towel to clean it. Replace faulty or damaged fans. Inverter will show an error message or error code on LCD display if there is a fault occurs. Please refer to user manual for complete error list and description. There is also a detailed troubleshooting guide available on Growat website. In order to manage the grid stability, the grid company regulated a permitted grid connect voltage range. If the local grid voltage is beyond that range, the inverter must stop working. Usually, that is not inverter problem. Please contact your installer to check AC voltage on inverter terminal or contact Growa service representative for further inquiry.